welcome to today's video. So I thought I'd share with you some of my October favourites. I was kind of umming and ahhing between doing my October favourites and then just doing one of my, you know, videos about feeling good about yourself. I, I, I will film that, but since I talked a lot in the other video, in the previous video, I thought I'd just do a little bit of a, you know, product fun because we all love a bit of product and I've got a few new bits to share. First, I want to share <laughs> my cup of coffee. Um, and I put that in the clip in the beginning because I just, I don't know about you, but I love watching people make their coffee in hot drinks. I find it so soothing. It's just a really nice part of someone's day. But I've been loving in Starbucks, the white chocolate mocha. Oh my God, that is amazing. And I just got a powder, a white chocolate powder in my um, glossy box this month. So what I've done is I've mixed it in with my coffee and let's, let's see if it tastes any good. It does. Oh my God, it does. It actually tastes better. Have I got a foam moustache? It actually tastes better than the Starbucks one. Because the Starbucks one is really sweet. So what I did was, I put a little bit, I didn't know how much to put in. I put a little bit of the white chocolate um, powder. Then I put my coffee on top and then my steamed milk on top. <gasps> you see, sometimes I really, amaze myself you know okay so let's talk about favorites oh my god i'm gonna have a coughing fit no i'm not okay these okay first of all my absolute mega amazing favorites on my lips right now oh my god this is this is the combo for life this is the combo for life okay two-faced melted matte liquid lip in star child this is probably one of the best liquid lips I have ever tried. <coughs> oh my god. Oh my god, there's a wasp at the window at the same time. Get lost! The window's closed. Oh my god, what's gone down my throat? Um, it stays put. It does not budge. It's the most amazing colour. And I don't even want to waste it by swatching it on my hand. But, for the purposes of my lovely friends here, you want to see, okay? So, look at that. Oh my God. That is just the most gorgeous nude. You know I love Mac Honey Love, but it was feeling a bit caramelly, a bit brown, and I wanted something a bit more pink. And this is it. Then on top of that, guys, on top of that, this this is NARS Matte Velvet Lip Glide, and this is in the shade Stripped, and this is the most decadent lip gloss, lip velvet, lip matte, whatever you could ever wish for. The colour, there's a wait list for this on Cold Beauty. The colour of this, oh, it's all now. Oh my God, look at that. Is like, I've got to say, it's a bit like Mac Myth. But can you see that's a lot more nudey? So you've got the pink and then, then this uh, nude on top, which isn't, it's not matte. What is it? It's called um, Velvet Lip Glide Stripped. So it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's almost like a pillowy softness and it, it just makes the liquid lip just so gorgeous. I mean, like I've been obsessed obsessed it is stunning now i'm not straying from the lips yet because i've still got another one charlotte tilbury kim kw again this is a gorgeous matte it looks beautiful over the um two-faced it is just nude upon nude upon nude look at that so you've got a slightly more i've just smudged it for you a slightly more pinky nude but it's gorgeous. And again, on top of any matte liquid lip, it's amazing. And what I love about a, a matte liquid lip is that it stays put. I, I, I don't even really like to reapply lipstick during the day. It's not really my, I'll put a liquid lip and I might take a lipstick with me if I know I'm gonna be out till you know the evening, which is never the case. But I'll just have a lip balm, but it just, 
This is so cushiony, it's so pillowy. I mean, my gosh. Let me just wipe this off my hand. Yeah, so loving those lips, incredible. Next up, I've got Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Filter, and this is in the shade four. This stuff is amazing. Look at that shade. I mean, it is just, it gives a glow to the skin. It makes your foundation last longer. It's almost like, yeah, it's almost like a primer. I mean, you can dot it on the highlights, on the high points of your cheek if you want. Um, it's just, I've got it on now underneath. It's just beautiful. I've got it all over my face. It's just like, it's literally a primer. It just lights up your skin. So if you're feeling like a bit lackluster in the winter months and you just want to glow, this gives you a beautiful tint. I'm using it in my makeup video, my previous video, foundation routine. So you'll see how it looks. It just gives skin the most beautiful glow. And this shade in particular, the tint is just gorgeous. You could just go alone out with this and a bit of powder on top. And it just, it just gives, it gives life back to skin. It's amazing. But the fact, what I love about it the most is it just makes your foundation sit well. I got a sample of the NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation and I wore it for like three or four days and I was like, this is just not holding up. Then I wore it over this and it looked amazing. So this is one of those things that just make anything look amazing. Um, I just, wow, love it. Talking of highlight and glow, Benefit Cookie Highlighter, I've got that on today. Um, this is, it's, it's everything that you'd want in a highlighter. Now, I remember this was originally in a set and I didn't want the set because I don't, I'm not a huge fan of makeup sets. I like individual products. Um, and this is just, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just, but the fact that it's called Cookie, I mean, look at that. Like, hello, hello, hello. Oh, I mean, that is, stunning. I love it. I absolutely love it. Yes, it's like super bling highlighter, but you know, you can get away with it at this, this time of the year. You really can. Christmas parties coming up, you know, you name it. The more glitz and glam, the better. So absolutely love this and worth a go. I don't know if it's limited edition or what, but I'm glad I've got it. Then keeping with Benefit, I've got Benefit Roller Lash. I've got that on my eyelashes right now. I really like this. I've had a sample of this before and I just think it's a nice everyday mascara. It's got a nice um, rubbery wand, which I find really gets into all those little lashes. It's great for the bottom lash, but it just gives a nice lift and it gets every single lash. And I, I love a rubber wand. So I think, well, basically all of Benefit's mascaras are really good. I love their sort of mascaras and liners and eyebrow stuff so really like that um i've got two lip liners that i absolutely love one is an oldie a golden oldie that is the nyx slide on glide on in nude suede shoes that's the one that i've got on now with the lip colors it's just a gorgeous basic nude i love it it's one of the best lip liners and it is very comparable to the charlotte tilbury very it's got that same waxy feel that doesn't budge this is um, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pink Venus, and it's just a lovely pinky shade. And it actually goes very well with the Kim KW. It just makes it a little bit less nudey and a bit pink. So if I show you next to it, there you go. See, where are you? Yeah, it actually goes together quite well and looks very natural if you don't want an overly, you know, a mentally nude lip. But who doesn't want a mentally nude lip, you know? <laughs> Love that. Then I've got a pair of, um, oh my God, my aunt brought me back these. Look at these, oh my God. Are these just not, they've got little grippies at the bottom, but that these are just, I live in these. Like, things like this, I live for, okay? Just my goal in life is to be cosy. <laughs> but these are literally slipper socks and I love to wear them with leggings so I can tuck them in. And it's just nice when you're like on the sofa 
and you want warm cozy feet and there you have it and they are just the cutest things ever i love them and then last but not least i think last but not least i do have a candle but i'm gonna save that for my october um for my like halloween faves but last but not least i'm reading a book and i've got an actual book reason i got a book because i couldn't find anything to read on kindle after my previous book i just couldn't and i was downloading different um things to read and i just i couldn't Nothing was grabbing me because if you, it doesn't grab me by the first page, I, I just can't get into it. Then my mum was like, you've got to read The Giver of Stars by Jojo Moyes. And I was like, I've never even heard of this. The cover is beautiful. And I read the first page and I was like, oh, this is, this is the kind of read I love. It's set in the 30s in... Um, America, Baileyville, Kentucky, and it's about these three women who come together and um, create a, a library, like a mobile library, and driven by a horse cart, and they go around the country, you know, giving books to women and children so they can read and better themselves or just learn. And the friendship that these women cultivate is just, it's just, it's really, it's really heartwarming story because back then in that time women really were supposed to just be at home cooking and cleaning and there wasn't really anything for them to do and one of the characters Alice is from England and she marries this American guy comes to Kentucky and it's just it's all very church going and she, she there's nothing for her to do and he the father lives with them and she's just uh, goes to these church sermons and then finally there's this lady called Marjorie O'Hare and she's just like does whatever she wants she likes to ride her horses she likes to wear her overalls no one's going to tell her what to do she's not doesn't want to get married she just lives her own life and gets all these gets a few girls to kind of you know learn the trade get on these horses and go to these different houses to people that are struggling or lost their spouses or have children that can't afford to go to school and just to bring them a bit of light in their life with books that you know which books do they transport you to another place it kind of it's imagination and the way that these women help other people through books and their relationship with themselves is just and again what i love the description of the mountains and the riding and the 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 people that they visit and the description the description it's just i love that i absolutely it is I have actually not read anything of Jojo Moyes. I know she is a very prolific um, writer, but for some reason I haven't read anything from her. And but this, oh my gosh! I think and anyone and everyone would love this. It is just from the moment you read it, you are just transported um, to the hillsides of Kentucky, and you're just like, oh my gosh! And it's just it's just beautifully written. And it's tense in some bits and it's harrowing in other bits and it's funny in other bits. And yeah, I really, really am enjoying this book. And it's a big bumper book, but I get through chapters in and out. I just, I can't stop. I can't stop, you know what I mean? And that's when you know it's a really good book. So yes, those were my October favourites. Let me know what you'd like to see from me, you know. I'm always open to suggestion. I think some of you have given me suggestion and feedback, which I absolutely always appreciate and love. I hope you're well. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Please subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And I will chat to you soon. Bye.